Hi guys, this is Master Psychic Lady of Wisdom, known as the Prophet of the Christ with Christian Gifted Psychics. Today's date is January the 22nd, 2013, and it is around 7.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What I wanted to talk to you guys about is psychic scams versus legit psychics. Now, some of the psychic scams to be aware of, run away from, negativity around you, black clouds, curses, their prices keep changing. Uh, a psychic telling you you were Cleopatra, Harriet Tubman, or a powerful emperor in another lifetime. Uh, a psychic who guarantees you 100% accuracy, 100% guarantees, free readings. Um, a psychic who asks you for your personal information. Be careful of this. Um, or a psychic that's asking you too many questions on top of questions on top of questions. I see someone with a DNA name. Do you know someone with a DNA name? Well, I see an S in his name. Is his name Sam? Oh, no, his name not Sam. I think it's Jacob. Is it a J in his name? That type of stuff. You are there to receive. A psychic should not be asking you that many questions. The most they should ask you for is your name. Uh, your city, your state, um, if they're trying to see what time zone that you are in. Other than that, they should not be asking you any questions whatsoever, whatsoever. And I do mean this. And, or another scam is a psychic that's getting extremely, extremely, extremely upset with you because you're asking them questions about their services. And due to you asking them questions about your services, they're threatening to not have you as a client or threatening not to service you. Definitely should not be happening at all. If anything, a psychic should be willing to explain their services. They're there to help you and that's what they should be doing. Not screaming at you or being abusive because you want to know what's going on or what, what their services entail us. Okay? So now let me get to legit psychics. Legit psychics, some of the things to look for are clear, concise websites. Stable prices, if they have permanent rates, the rates should stay the same. Um, for instance, the rate will stay a solid rate. $2 per minute is exactly $2 per minute, not $4 per minute after five minutes and so and so and so and so after that. Uh, flat rates, if they have flat rates, the flat rate should stay the same. It should not be you just paid a uh, $15 uh, for five-minute session and all of a sudden it's now it's $25. No, it should just be $15, exactly what their website said and exactly what their prices said. Um, if they offer you free readings, it should be exactly as it is, a free reading. Free readings, exactly as that. Nothing more, nothing less, and you should not have no obligation to do business with them whatsoever. You should just be able to get the free reading and you can go ahead and find another psychic or if that's what you choose to, but they should not be charging you anything for a free reading or forcing you to do business with them. Now, also, uh, if you are concerned or you have questions about their services, uh, a legit psychic will be willing to talk to you, to communicate with you. Communication is very important. They should have the contact information here, such as an email, a phone number, um, a way for you to get in touch with them. And they should be willing to explain whatever it is that you do not understand. And also when it comes to websites, they should have testimonials on there. FAQs frequently ask questions that way you're able to service yourself. Um, but if they do not have that on it, they should be willing to explain each and every service to you. Um, and also another great tip to look for in your psychic, if they are giving back to the community, this tells a lot about their character, their moral values, um, also their faith, um, such as free services, free readings, um, uh, giving to charity, um, being actively involved in a community. Um, if they're not that much involved in a community, they should be offering something free because besides a legit psychic, they are there to help you. They are not there to feed off the people. They're there to help you, so that's very important. It shows a lot about their devotion to helping people in search of guidance. 
Um, lastly, quality services, uh, offering great services such as the reading was accurate. Uh, you shouldn't have a reading with a psychic and you didn't understand what the heck they were talking about. That should not be happening at all. Now, now, whatever it is that you're searching for, that psychic, if they do not specialize in that, that should be expressed. So a legit psychic will let you know if they do not specialize in what you're looking for. If you're looking for an astrologer and the psychic is not an astrologer, they should say, I'm not an astrologer. But I do thank you very much for your time for inquiring. And they can let you know what they do, and you should be able to make a decision whether or not you choose to go with this psychic or not. And also... Um, testimonials are very important. Other people who did business with them, who did business with them? Um, do they have anything that you can see, such as, uh, example, how they do their readings? Do they have any videos available? Things of that nature. So um, this is all very important. And again, I cannot emphasize on a legit psychic would have contact information phone number, email, things of that nature. So um, again, so these are my tips for you guys, and I hope you guys um, enjoyed listening to the video and also um, listen to these tips as well, just to avoid scams and being able to find your psychic. So again, I am Master Psychic, Lady of Wisdom, known as the Prophet of the Christ with Christian Gifted Psychics. And thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. And please visit www.christiangiftedpsychics.webs.com. Thank you guys very much for watching. God bless.